<laughs> right, we're live. We're live. So I just dropped in on my Instagram just to say we're, we're, we're kind of live on multiple devices right now. I'm Sarah Jane. And I'm Maria San. And this is our first time using so many. We're like, what screen do I look at? <laughs> it's like being in, in a spaceship, actually. Yeah. So it's if good. you see us looking down and up, it's just because there's different different little live streams happening. Yeah. Um, so please um, stay with the content, which um, we're really excited to share today. The essence of actually what has brought us together to be in this same room at this very moment um, is is this device that I'm wearing, which is um, frequency and energy medicine. Although this live is much, much, much bigger and broader than that. And what um, both of us are really passionate about is, um, I'm just gonna throw out some buzzwords, is um, new earth, uh, energy healing, um, manifestation, conscious creation, abundance, um, modern, modern day healing. Have you got some more words you wanna add in? Well, for me, yeah, it's really the co-creation of and, and feeling the support of, of community. Um, and it's interesting. So I this thing, this Healy device, I only just got mine and I'm like a rookie and Arihi is like my guru because I'm still <laughs> learning how to use it. But what oh my I gosh. What, <laughs> well, no, I'm for to me tech, I'm like, how does this work? And <laughs> there's all of these amazing things that it can do and I'm like, you know, even you, you're like barely scratching the surface. Of barely all scratching. And um yeah, and it was interesting, like, uh, even just a little, uh, about an hour ago, I remember I saw a post um, of some really amazing sisters that, that I love who are creating, creating something together. And I realized that for me, the most important thing in this moment, and maybe it's because I'm a mother and I've just spent so much time doing things on my own, um, but is the power of coming together in community to feel supported in, you know, and I feel like this is a really, the feminine way, and it's, um, you know, due to this kind of becoming so out of balance with our, with our feminine nature, both as men and as women, um, that, yeah, like we haven't, you know, we've been forced to to operate in such a masculine, success-driven, I'm doing it on my own and competing and I'm going to be it. successful and I'm going to work through all of my times when even though I really felt like tired and I should have rested, but no, I have to keep going because this is like what I need to do and I didn't listen to my body and my feminine cycle and all the things. Um, but and you know and i realize i've i've you know even even i work in the in the space of feminine embodiment um and you know typically you know i've arrived at this path i don't know some eight years ago i guess after being a yoga teacher for before um because i found myself so in this like masculine uh, out of balance um situation and of course, it's like, you know, we, we are, we're, we're presented with these opportunities um, as our own medicine for our healing. And I had this big aha moment that I was so out of touch with my body, although working in the space of working with the body. Um, and so it's been a big journey of kind of coming home to, to my natural um, way of being and yeah, coming back into harmony and alignment. And yet still, I feel this, you know this sadness of doing everything on our own and so when Arihia um, told me about Healy I was in Ibiza I was you know juggling a three-year-old three and a half year old and you know when she, this is this is like I call it frequency medicine and I call it like a new new earth healing technology and as much as in my own preference I would always like to be as natural as possible with everything um, so the thought of adding more tech to my world and, you know, and obviously technology takes a little bit of um, getting used to and learning. I was a bit like, oh, I don't know. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're, living, in a, we're living in a time where we are still quite disconnected from nature and maybe we need a, and any, maybe we need a little bit of help. Um, and in addition to that, I think yeah. there's a lot of stuff coming at us, like yeah. as a species, as a population, as a, you know, like as humans kind of evolving through technology that is advancing, a lot of it does have like negative effects. So to have 
like something that's like it supports you into having it having like positive effects like to me stacking the odds in your favor in that way makes a lot of sense on many many levels which i'm going to go into but i want you to finish Good. what you're saying no so when when this one reached out to me i thought it was interesting like for me my my litmus test i guess is, is always just to to feel in my body like you know and i thought okay what is this healy thing i don't know um, what is she sending me this video? Okay, I'll watch the video. And <laughs> did you and watch the video? I watched. I might not have watched the whole video because even halfway through the video, I started to feel a full yes in my womb. And you know, this is kind of the way I roll. It's like if I if the yes is here, I think okay. okay. And you know, and I'm actually my husband can criticize me a little bit for this because <laughs> I tend to be not one to go into too much of the logic. analysis and the logic in the brain. I'm like, oh, body says yes. yes. And that is... Body is queen. That is all I need. Mm. And, um, and yeah, and so I felt a yes, but I, I sort of paused because I was busy and we were about to go to Bali and then this crazy time of pandemic and la, la, la. But um, what I, what I, the biggest part of my full yes was also wrapped up in not only what is possible you know for for healing the body and supporting the body and um through this device and the the resonance and the frequency um that it brings um was the beautiful community that that is working with this with with this with this device and it is for me like to to come and play with with Arihia where it just felt like such a gift because i know I know the beautiful women that she brings together, you know, and in a, you know, forget, forget what this is all about. I mean, this is a bonus that this is like super incredible and completely life changing and transformational, but it's more like, okay, I want to work and I want to roll with, with a team of really incredible women who, you know, I can feel supported by and also I can support. And yes, I love that. I, can I add two yes, things to do. that? <laughs> and the first thing is that um, I, the reason I resonate with the, the, the two words joined together of new and earth is because I feel like the way that that new earth is going to be paved is through this community that you're speaking about and many mm. other ways, like many different technologies, many different, like mostly people really stepping into their gifts and like mm. learning how to not just be in their heart like when they're sitting and meditating but really navigate their life in a way that is consistently through your heart and mm -hmm. in your heart mm -hmm. and um to have a tool for number one to have a tool that is constantly doing that and to be around people who are striving to do that mm -hmm. and have practical ways to like integrate that into your into your every waking moment part of that to me is also really really playing with the spirit of life and really playing with like your own like possibility and expansion of what's what's possible and mm -hmm. the way to do that is really by clearing your energy is really by stabilizing your energy and finding a way or finding many ways that work for you that kind of like bring this bring your heart to flourish bring your dreams to flourish and bring your like your true self, like the reasons why you're here, your purpose. And the second thing I wanted to say was um, when it comes to healing, I've been doing some like meditating and like really deep self-inquiry into how I show up in my daily life and online and um, as a mother. And something... Our children are playing outside they somewhere are. right now. <laughs> With my mum. <laughs> Which is like, that's one of my, that's like this, that makes me, that makes my heart like, oh, like really expand. Mm. But um, healing. I, as a modern day healer, um, I don't, and that's quite a fem, I feel like that's quite a feminine kind of um, quality and a feminine space to be in. But as a healer, I've felt, you know, in modern medicine world, you're not allowed to use the word healer. It's kind of like, it's kind of had this, for me personally, it's had this weird sort of energy around it that I've kind of haven't really stepped into it. And I couldn't see how being in that energy, I didn't know how to navigate it. I didn't know how to stand in it. And um, my mum is full Maori and her, um, I was telling SJ earlier that I had a, a vision this morning and her 
like her family lineage um, is called, uh, their last name is Natanahera, and they were the healers and the advisors to the royal family. Like that, that's my lineage. And when I really sit in the lineage of that and the feeling of that, it, I feel like that's, that's where I come from and that's where I sit and that's where my greatest power really lies. And I feel that this device really encourage, like when you combine this with that, like obviously, like <laughs> it's called Healy and it has an analyzer slash advisor app. <laughs> so like the words are like in the technology, but it's so much, it's so much bigger than that as well. Um, so they're the two things I wanted to start on. We'll, we'll keep building. So on that, or should I keep going? Oh, you can keep going. You know, this is this is really new new territory for me. And as I said, I, actually, when we finish this video, like my guru here is actually going to teach me more about what I can do with this <laughs> device because I'm not one to read instructions. That's just not my feminine way. <laughs> so um, I just need to feel yeah. But all of my all of my playing around late at night of of running programs on myself and this this particular device, it's the the one that I have and the one that you have it's like it's incredible it's like it can actually if you think of like I don't know this is why I call it new earth technology it's like its ability to read your full energetic field and then and not in a scary way I had a little like oh my god you're reading my energy and in this time of like you know there's so much crazy stuff happening on the planet I was like you're not harvesting my energetic data don't do that this is my private field but it's not like that at all. Um, there's too many conspiracy theories and things flying around right now. Um, but you know, something that can give such a true reading and you actually read it and everything that it, well, says in a very blunt German way. It's it is, a very <laughs> realistic. Let's, let's say it, it takes realism and idealism and marries them together and supports those two concepts into like actual manifesting because I do believe you need those two things. Yeah. And the German realism is very real. Like, for example, I can't think of one right now, but um, when it does the full chakra reading, it'll, um, you know, say, for example, it might be like, your heart, your heart is, is, your heart chakra is closed. You cannot experience joy. joy. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> but it's interesting because you might feel into that and go, do you know what? I am, yeah, I'm navigating a lot right now and I do feel quite closed and things are not feeling as joyful as as they could be in my life. You know, everything that I've received, actually, I haven't done it with this device yet because I haven't set it up properly, but um, everything's been really right on the money. And the beauty of it is it's like, not not only it's like, a, okay, I'm like an energetic reader and I'm gonna tell you where you're out of balance in your chakra system. It then, because it has this, 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 I'm gonna say it all in the wrong way. So if someone's watching, they're like, oh, she has no idea what she's talking about. The free, it then, it tells you like the 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 recipe of of frequencies that you need to help that's you correct. rebalance yeah you that's know a good way so it's like not only do you get the reading but then you get the prescription and rather than it being like go to your doctor and go and take all of these blah, like you know medicines and things that maybe are not so harmonious for your body like just working you know we're all energy working with frequency medicine for me anyway is just so much so much more to the point and can and I powerful. say something really yeah. cool that I've discovered yeah. like really recently about it so Healy has like 144,000 golden frequencies so it's like wearing an mp3 player like an iPod of frequencies that you get to travel around with and scan yourself with and upgrade yourself the coolest with. thing I hear them because I'm you quite do. I'm like every time I run a project I'm like whoa wow I can I can hear it and I feel everything and I see it I'm like wow this is really incredible yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so not only do you get to carry around these 144,000 144, frequencies, it mm. has 130 programs in it. And these programs range from anything which have really kind of like a wide context. For example, these, I'm going to throw some words out, like pure, relax, calm, release. Balance balance like can you feel like the mm. context of that like what that would be and those all of those references have like phys they could be physical they could be emotional and they could be mental so Healy is constantly scanning like what you're most resonant with and what you need within that library of mm. of frequencies and it delivers them into your 
bioenergetic field. Um, I forgot where I was going to go with that. <laughs> anyway, that's amazing. But that's kind of, it's not specifically what we're here to talk about anyway, because for me, yeah, coming back to this idea of like Thank feminine you. business and I mean, we can keep talking about this and I'm sure certainly for those who are watching on my Instagram who follow me, um, I'm sure I'm going to be talking about it a lot more as I fully integrate it into my body and learn about how to do it and then I'm sure I'm going to be popping on going oh my god everything's changing oh, yeah, do I it. remember I remember yeah. okay um so I've just discovered this amazing oh, yeah. new function on my Healy which I've had for three months and I play with every single day and um as a mother I was I was working in coaching work and like the the, the byline of that coaching work was um was was about motherhood and and being a mother and living your purpose with your children by your side mm -hmm. and that was really my medicine because I experienced so much depletion in becoming a solo mother and breastfeeding for two years and I know many mothers breastfeed much longer Three and than a half. that <laughs> longer. still going much longer <laughs> and oh <laughs> old booby <Yeah. laughs> um <laughs> And I, I, I met so many mothers who were experiencing the same kind of depletion, the same level that I was. And I think it's so hard for us to create, like really consciously create when we're, when we're kind of like spending a lot of energy in this, I'm going to call it the survival zone, but it doesn't mean that you're like really struggling and surviving, even though it can mean that. It really means that so much of your primal energy, of your jing energy, of your chi energy is not only depleted but then also going into like kind of just maintaining it feels almost like maybe not in all areas but you're really kind of treading water in certain areas so um leaving your purpose with your children by your side that became really clear as one of my messages to really share and that's actually when i found healy when i got really clear on that and i was like and i was like wow this is i really understand how this fits into that vision mm -hmm. um and i started um using the Healy with myself and my son and we both you know like um recorded our frequency together as a as a entity as a motherhood mother son entity and i started running this beautiful um bark flower essence between us and it was so it was exactly what i just said it, it like it talked about depletion and like power roles in, a, in relationships and I've been running it for like three or four days mm -hmm. and from the first day that I did it, um, I could feel the shift in myself and the shift in between my son where, I know this sounds like a bit out there, but this is, this is my heart truth is that when I looked at him more, like his, so much love was like radiating out of his face that I don't know whether I was missing it before. Mm -hmm. And the like, the frequency added energy like really adjusted that for me, or if you know, you know, like how that actually came about. But my experience with that and working with it as a, like as an entity, like as a tool for motherhood to yeah. to really step into my purpose of motherhood and look mm -hmm. beyond what was happening in the moment of the craziness and the chaoticness, mm -hmm. and like settle into the energetic love that this tool actually helped to invoke within me was really profound. Like, That's beautiful. Yeah, it was. I never told you about that. No, I love that. Mm. Yeah, and it's, and I think that's testament to how much bigger this device is than you, yes. know, you might hear about it. And think, <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds interesting, like I did. Like, I don't know, it's kind of infinitely expanding for me. Um, yeah, and I, and I feel just to the motherhood point, I remember when you first spoke to me about it, you know, you said no mother is an island. And, you know, this is definitely a big trigger for me because, you know, I'm, I do a lot of co-creation work with others, yet I know I've, it can be a little bit of a habit to come back and, oh, no, I'm doing it all on my own and pushing away support and not having really amazing community to call on also because we bounce around the world as a little family constantly. And it's just like, it feels like such a... Um, you know, an exhale of like relaxation to be like, oh yeah, here I am. And you know, there is, um, you know, with, with this Healy technology, just the way it's kind of being shared with the world, there is, there is an abundance aspect um, to it, which, you know, I know Arihi has said before, like, you know, when you, when, as you start to come into alignment through using this device and well, not only using the device, just everything, dropping more into your body and dropping into your truth and um, coming into balance um, then suddenly you become more 
more more clear on your purpose and the medicine that you are here to share and you want to share your gifts with the world mm. yet you know in really having that I mean when you're in full alignment you know you're magnetic to to money abundance it all everything you works. say the coolest things well you know and <laughs> when, you're, just when you're out. out of alignment which you know I, I spend some of my time in alignment I spend other times out of alignment and I watch how when I'm fully aligned like everything in my work really <laughs> flows and when I'm not aligned like everything's a bit harder um, and then I wonder why and I get frustrated um, and I blame people you know all the things um, but to you know in order to feel supported um, in sharing your gifts with the world having not only a community of not only women there are men involved in this as well of course um, but a really powerful community and also the abundance like the the, the financial abundance that it can bring that suddenly you're like whoa wow there's like money coming into my bank account so therefore to 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 feel to feel fully supported in being like, okay, I know that this is my purpose to be out there sharing this and yet maybe it's felt not the right time in the past just because, you know, you have that 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 fear of scarcity of like how will I how will I do that? But it's like for for a, certainly for a woman to to fully open and open her heart and feel relaxed in, you know, sharing sharing her, her frequency we need to feel supported, you know? And once we have that support, sure. then it's like we're plugged in. It's like, whew, everything becomes easy because... So easy. And mm -hmm. this is... I, I love that you brought this out. Mm. And I think it's a great segue into talking about the feminine way and the mm. feminine way of creating. And this is really my passion and the passion of the community that comes along with Healy. And I know part of your passion too. Mm. Um, it's to... is to... I think there's many, many people who in kind of segments in their life have created in a very feminine way but maybe like integrating it as a like in a really holistic way has been a bit of a challenge or um maybe it's like a concept that people have been kind of playing with and talking about and um sort of like kind of understanding in a conceptual way but not really knowing exactly how to embody and exactly how to bring that into the money sphere and how to bring that into the business sphere and the creating sphere and the mother fear and like sphere fear the mother fear is that a Freudian slip <laughs> <laughs> and and tie that all together in this kind of like dynamic sort of shifting moving way and I I for me that is the essence of the new work the new earth is is really like tapping into your genius tapping into your intuition like these real feminine qualities this and like making it mystical, making it magical, making it outside the box, you know, like making it kind of even outlandish. But really, I think that's what our true purpose really is. It is big. It is, it is, well, for me, it is big. It is visionary. And I think, and it's fun and it joyful. It is fun, and exactly. Playful. And yeah, and I feel like that's where that support comes in. Like, we you know, if when you're, when you're in some sort of space of fear or worry or like, oh my God, anxiety about, ah, <sighs> you know scarcity and all the rest then it's not as easy to flick into that energy of like okay i can i can be fully alive and joyful because really i'm actually kind of shitting myself and but that's right and you can't lie about that energy no, you can't no. like energy it's there like energy don't lie and, and that energy tends to perpetuate more of that <laughs> energy until you kind of break the cycle and you know it's like i always see like abundance as like a it's just like a you know, money is energy. We know. God, how many times have we spoken about this before? <laughs> um, we know like each other many times. times. <laughs> um, but you know, it's just like opening the channel. And you know, we're laughing because I I tend to yeah. I've always been very magnetic to money, and it often comes in different ways. And I'm grateful to have. I'm definitely not a very wealthy person, but I have a really good relationship where it where it flows. I think you are wealthy. Like, I mean, I am. Yeah. I, I yeah. So like I'm wealth in the terms of like you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't want you to think yeah. I'm all like, oh yeah, I'm yeah. super multimillionaire. Cause like I'm not. <laughs> but you know, it's just like it's keeping keeping mm. the energy flowing. It's like when the energy gets stagnant, and the energy can get stagnant from when you. You know, when you're not in alignment, you're out of balance, you're, you're stuck in fear or in scarcity. Denial. Da, 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 it's all, <laughs> which are all like not emotions that we should deny. This is all natural. And 
real. Um, but I tell you what, when you get it moving again, then it's just like, oh, cool. Everything you want, like your, your, your desires are easy to manifest. You know, suddenly it's like, whoa, there's abundance coming in in all ways, not mm -hmm. only financially, but yeah. And it just, life feels so much more relaxing. <laughs> And, and, well, it is more relaxing mm. because your parasympathetic nervous system mm. ha has calmed down and, well, it, you know, is switched off. Mm. So you're actually, as a, as a feminine energy, or as a woman, or even as a person, like, you are actually able to receive. Yeah. Um, and you can't. Like, it's, it's literally impossible for you to receive if you're, if you're in that flight or fright mode. Yeah. And, you, you, like, there's no safety in that space. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's almost like abundance comes to you and just goes ping like it can't even penetrate the force field yeah. um i've had to learn that because that was you know when if you've been watching from the beginning um yeah like it's that's a it's quite it's not an easy program to unwind because it even like you know if you think of from a more physiological perspective like that tension lives really deep in the body and it's like it's like even for me like layer by layer each day it's, it's such true. a yeah there's always more there's always more to to surrender um but with adequate support that's <laughs> right many easier. layered support yeah. um and i just to speak to that for one moment is mm. you can be in your like mentally and emotionally you can be feeling like you are actually aligned like you can be saying the things you can be like feeling the feels, but if in your body, like in a cellular way, there is still this programming of like, of anxiety or stress or whatever it is. And it's like, there is that there is like a practice and a, a need for like, for whatever tools are going to help to release that so that you can really step into that zone of like true safety. And that is true creating where you can truly create. I'm actually really interested with in Healy for that reason <laughs> because I have like I've got some chronic I mean I've worked I've been a dancer all my life and a yoga teacher and da 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 and I'm working with a lot of somatic movement and embodiment and there's some chronic patterns of tension really I always sort of you know I probably should stop perpetuating this story but you know my body is stubborn and I'm quite stubborn too. <laughs> we're both Taurus <laughs> um, but yeah there's some stuff that's really like no no I'm going to hold on forever. There's no, I'm not going to let I'm not going to let go. So it's interesting for me to see to feel how how working with frequency, you know, like I've tried a lot of different things and, you know, adding this next level to see to see how that goes in my body. I'm um, excited about that. I'm going to show you how to do. So that would be chronic. There's like uh, there's like a way to do chronic and acute, yeah. like, and it's, yeah, and it just vibrates into your And that's why, you know, I mean, for, for, me, you know, for my Instagram people who are down here, Hello. <laughs> you know, a lot of, you know, you kind of, it might be weird. Like I don't talk about this stuff on the internet so much, like devices and things like that. Um, but I really, you know, for me, I always have to sort of try it out in my own body um, before I integrate it fully into my work, just that feels in integrity for me um, but it's interesting for me when all of my womb work and um, sacred sexuality work and just mm, moving trauma through the body and how you know like obviously this this device is helpful for so many different things a lot of people get it for specific reasons chronic pain um, you know, big, big healing yeah healing crises but it, there, there's such a bigger picture for, for what it can do. So yeah, I'm interested to, I'm interested to, to see because I just feel or, already it was just like a clear yeah. yes. This is going to be such a um, such a compliment um, to to everything I do, really to everything we all do. Like I, I feel like yeah, I, that's that's very mm -hmm. true. Like the community is attracting you know biohackers. Mm -hmm. I met a beautiful Chinese herbalist who came out of retirement. Um, because she believed so much in the way that Healy was gonna like change the world, not because oh, she wow. needed the money, not because mm. of any other reason other than like I I feel like it's a gift to humanity and like mm. that's big talk, really. Um, but I did have a vision like in 2012 of this tech, this like star technology that, and I saw it as a chair. That would sit in chairs and would like kind of like matrix style. And I think we've all talked about that, like yeah. big healing, like you know, you think of like healing activation chamber. I have to go. I mean, I do it in my 
etheric states in my dream space with my more I'm going a bit more off planet here I get taken into chambers working with crystal technology working through the body but this is easier yeah it is and I know I mean I know people who were pissed off when they first like when this first came and they wanted it and they loved it but they were like I've been doing Joe Dispenza meditations every day for two years and then this device comes in and it does everything that's not fair and I'm like what do you mean that's not fair well, now you can use that time and like create more or share it with more people like yeah. not everyone has two hours in a day to yeah. sit and meditate and do a Joe Dispenza meditation mm -hmm. and just think you know if this is if this has the ability to fast track us and you know here's my little masculine <gasps> you know do what, it. I would, come on let's I want everything to be faster I want Quicker. more 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 um, <laughs> um, but you know if, if this has the ability to help us fast track and move through things more more quickly and more you know with more ease then think of you know how much like I always think the way I see it it's like you know there are infinite possibilities of, of what we can create and what is available to us but you know it, it, so it's like if we're already in this pattern of acceleration with a little bit of assistance it's like oh my god imagine what Imagine exactly. what is what 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 is possible. The and more that excites me. The more time we spend in alignment, mm. the more time we spend in la in that pure like creator state of like no limitation, just like pure dreaming, pure connection to mm. like everything through all time and space. And that's an energy thing. Like at the end of the day, everything is energy. It's all energy. Source mm. is energy. Our connection is energy. Our lung is energy. Mm. Um, <laughs> there we go. What? Weird. Hey, we're back so Instagram people. I don't know. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, it really is all energy. And mm -hmm. so the more time we are able to spend and the closer we can come to that, then the the higher, the lighter our energy is going to be. Mm -hmm. And the more, like, this is like kind of the tipping point that I see, like, in in humanity where there will there will be a tipping point and we're really close to it, I, I feel, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. intuitively. And um, the we're kind of like you said we are accelerating and the more access we have to to people like who expand us and to mm. tools that like bring us into knowing how to move our energy around mm. our bodies mm. not just our physical body but this is what this is what that feels like emotionally oh mm. that's you know like that i was i was in kind of denial about that but mm. oh that's really there you know like mm -hmm. when that's right in front of you mm -hmm. then you have that realism and that's when you get to activate your idealism like your real visions for what you want to bring into the into the new world for like who you really came here to be you can't have one without the other um, otherwise you're just like a bird with one wing and you can do circles around and around and it's our responsibility right now you know that yes. just as you were sharing and talk you know far out this is a crazy time on the planet I mean an exciting time as well but I really feel that it is our our responsibility to do the inner work and to get as clear and aligned as possible and you know we are I talk a lot in the work that I do about us being creative beings and we are and we are literally birthing the new earth through our frequency so it's like and I have a very sensitive husband which I it's very he, he I always call him my gift because I have always been very powerful in my energy yet I can get quite funky in my energy too you know we talk about <laughs> so he'll be the first one like ah like you know you know um we have to be really mindful and responsible and I feel that you know if if this could be a tool to help us rebalance and harmonize and really plug ourselves back in so that we can be I guess vibrating at the highest frequency that we can the clearest frequency the purest frequency because you know okay although there are people who are on this planet to go out and be physical activists and you know stand up for our sovereign rights and whatever like for me i'm not i'm not such a public activist other than sharing stuff on the internet um but i feel we do so much through the field of our energy and you know and we think every time we feel disempowered it's like hang on a minute no 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 all of the power is here you know we just need to plug ourselves back in and to start working with our own frequency medicine and that is how we create be know thyself change. is the term that's coming to me right now like yeah. just really know thyself and um 
Should we wrap? Should we bring yeah, it we, into that's, we better, like yeah, like how whatever you want. Yeah, we better wrap it up. We just, we we can we talk. Just, we could, I could talk forever. Honestly, <laughs> we can have a Aria and Sarah Jane show. Let's do it. But I, I I guess to wrap it up is that um, I guess bring it into the practical is that I I with all of that information that we've just shared around like. Um, living intuitively and creating a world um, of your heart and living in alignment and having a community that supports you and living in abundance is that Healy has been a way for me to connect with people, mm -hmm. connect with myself and create a really, like, a really good income. So what the how are we going to wrap it up i don't know i guess <laughs> the i want to i want to offer i i'm i'm looking now before like in the next couple of weeks and you know in the next week i really want to speak specifically to people who like if you resonate with the term healer if you are like if you feel like you're an entrepreneur and you've cracked it or you haven't quite cracked it or you love working with energy and manifesting and you really resonate with the terms of new earth and mm. like you, you you know you feel in your whole being that you are part of that bridge into the new world or even if you just feel like you need a bit of energetic support yes. you know and i'm really <laughs> speaking to the mothers first time i did uh, over here did a reading for me um you know we did a chakra reading that was kind of fairly uh, enlightening and um and then the, the, the frequency, one of the frequencies it said I needed was for um, acute stress. And I thought, oh, Jesus. But to be honest, it's actually, it's quite real for, for so many of us as mums, just because it is, you know, frazzling can be a, a, just, oh, totally. just through the sheer volume of like always being on, always having a little one talking to you and trying to juggle so many things. And yeah, and that didn't surprise me. And I'm like, okay, I, I swear if all mothers, if all women could have something, just a little bit of an extra energetic support, um, it's, yeah, I want it's that. It's so true. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think a lot of mothers, I think a lot of mothers really resonate with that as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like no other path. I mean, I've been a mother yeah. for three, or three years and eight months. And it's like, I can't until... Yeah, until you walk the path of mother, I don't think. I think of my, myself before, I think, yeah, I had no idea how like big and I'm intense sure. and amazing it would be, like, but it's a lot for I the think body. Now, <laughs> a lot of a lot of mothers that mm -hmm. I know, a lot of women that I know really desire to step out into the world as a visionary, like as a kind of like in this game changing capacity. And it's it's a it's a feeling that's like bigger than you. Yeah. It's it's a purpose and it's a calling. Yeah. And to integrate that with motherhood is I feel like it's new, like it's a pioneering way and it's a and it's a part of this this bridging into the new world. Mm -hmm. And this community that we've been talking about mm -hmm. is I've never felt more supported, more loved, more guided, more like free to really be myself and not only just talk about conscious creating and conscious wealth creating and abundance, but actually live it and be it and experience it and play with it and invite it in and like you know, upsize it, downsize it, you know, all those things. Um, so I'm specific, we're specifically looking for women who um, want to come and play in that space. And I want to open up my calendar to work with like game changers and visionaries mm -hmm. who feel really called or just resonating with what we're saying. There's a reason you're resonating. It's because like, come and check this out, come and be a part of this and start playing like in this intuitive, I have a, I have a few um, intuitive processes that I've learnt um, that are very practical to support women into growing and nurturing this like heart purpose and bringing it like into fruition. Mm -hmm. So that's the gift that I really want to share in that space, and I'd love to invite women who feel called, or even even men, like if you feel. <laughs> If you feel totally, we're not completely female centric. <laughs> this is for men as well. We just, you know, when we're, I think, I feel like for any woman who's really deep in motherhood, like we are, it's um, mm. sometimes it's harder. It, you know, I feel like I have a lot of criticism, not a lot, but people say, You're just so mother centric. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just so embodied. Who I am. It's who I am now. <laughs> oh, speaking, speaking of. Speaking of which. And yeah, and to all of my people, so many of you are, have asked me to send more information and I've been Excuse a little me? busy, yes. but I'm going to. All right, should we wrap this up? Yeah, Thank you for listening. And so please um, send us a message yeah. if you're interested Mommy, in being a part of this community. Where's the... Where's
Where's a bowl? Okay. Message me. <laughs> Call me. Hang on. And oh, hang on. We're not ending. Well, yes. Please do send me a message if this sounds good to you. We will talk soon. So much love. <laughs>